concept of armor was developed by Wilhelm Reich. Reich attended the University of Vienna in the early part of the 20th century, where he had the opportunity to associate with such giants as Sigmund Freud. One of his primary contributions to the field of psychology is his recognition that mental and emotional conflicts are in fact rooted in the body. All modern psychotherapies that work with the body can be traced back to him. Reich's concept of armor is that of a muscle spasm due to an unexpressed emotion. Armoring at C1, C2, or C5 can affect hypolordosis of the neck. Armor in the lumbar spine can affect hypo or hyperlordosis of the back. Always suspect armor whenever there is back pain. It can also occur in any organ. Emotional upsets are stored in the body as imbalances in the chakras, the body's energy centers. Organ imbalances are stored as body armor. For more information on releasing chakras and armor, we recommend the Chakra Armor Release of Emotions videotape, also available from Excelsior Productions. The technique consists of first test the arm, have the patient think of being born, then retest the arm, it will probably appear weak. Next, find the emotional block, neither a chakra or armor, and find the Bach flower that cancels that out. The third step is to complex in all the points in flexion, extension, hyperextension, right and left rotation, right and left lateral bending. The fifth step is to do the tail wag adjustment both in prone and extension. And the sixth step is to do the CARE. In other words, it's going to be all the energy will be in a chakra, so you have to bring the energy up and out. We will now review the locations of the test points for the chakras on the front and back of the body. I will now go over the different test points for the various chakras. We test the points just about two inches in front of the body. The first test point is just below the crotch. The second test point for the second chakra is right at the level of the pubic bone. In releasing birth trauma, there are approximately 30 key points that relate to the physical and emotional trauma associated with birth. These points relate to the specific organ or energy imbalances. Each of these points must be tested in all of the body positions encountered in the birth process. The first six points are tested with the index finger. C6 anterior left, C2 posterior right, test for armor at the right transverse processes of C1, C2, and C3. And all of the centers of the brain with an open hand. Test the chakras with a flat hand, approximately two inches from the body and test the elements using the index finger on the middle toe. Polarity therapy is a form of magnetic healing discovered by a chiropractor named Randolph Stone. In polarity therapy, there are five elements. There are reflex points on each of the toes for each of these five elements. The first phalanx, or great toe, is known as the ether toe. It represents the ether element. The second phalanx is called the air toe. It represents the air element. The third phalanx, or fire toe, represents the fire element. In releasing birth trauma, the fire toe, or fire element, shows up most often due to the tremendous amount of anger that gets stored due to the birth process. For more information on polarity therapy, we recommend Your Healing Hands, The Polarity Experience, also available from Excelsior Productions. In these techniques, we're working with energy imbalances rather than spinal subluxations. So instead of doing several separate adjustments, which would be very time consuming, we can complex them into a single energy release with one adjustment. This is not a spinal adjustment. We're simply stimulating acupressure points alongside the spine. These are the steps for complexing.